heading into the World Series, mm -hmm. and since I'm from Detroit originally, go Tigers. <laughs> uh, right. Sorry, couldn't help that, Todd. Anyway, <laughs> let me throw you a curveball. I get patients every now and then, Kimberly Banks, who are adopted. Oh, oh my goodness. What do I tell that patient? First of all, they probably don't know their family history unless they've done a, a search. So let's take sort of the adopted patient, if you will, and then also what aspects of the family history are really important that patients should be knowing. That's really when they go see their primary care doctor, they should really know these aspects of their family history. Thank you for the curveball. <laughs> so <laughs> it really comes down to, and Dr. Hunt, just to understand, are we talking about your adopted patients that have no history of breast cancer or your adopted patients that have had a diagnosis of breast cancer? Yeah, you know, the, the, they're the ones that have a diagnosis and want to know more and they've got children often and what do I tell my kids? And I mean, it's that sort of that scenario, Kim. Thank you. Yeah. So if you're, the adopted patients definitely are difficult and when it comes to doing the genetic testing for the, the, her, the most common hereditary cancer, uh, breast cancer genes, there, there really are criteria. So if your patient is young at diagnosis, even if we don't know family history, we can still do the genetic testing. And then what, a, what, at what age, Kim? And be specific now. What age are we talking about here? So the, in general, premenopausal breast cancer warrants a consideration of genetic testing. Most guidelines recommend, well, the guidelines recommend if you're under 40, absolutely genetic testing is appropriate. Between 40 and 50s, sometimes debated. Most insurance companies, if you have had a diagnosis of breast cancer at age 45 or younger, regardless of family history, genetic testing would be covered in most instances. So mm -hmm. 45 is kind of our magic number these days. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.